Hello everyone! My name is Teacher Kat and today we will be learning about the three states of math. Anything that occupies space in a mass array is called matter. This ointment on top of my palm is called matter because it occupies a particular space. Look at this. Even if I put another object on top of this object, the second object will not occupy the same space the first object occupied. Now, let us differentiate a mass and a weight. This plastic envelope is made up of several materials. Therefore, it has its own mass. Because mass is the amount of material that an object has. This is a set of various pens. I will try to put this pens inside the plastic envelope. Oh, I felt the difference. It's now heavier because this envelope has its own weight now. Therefore, weight is the force exerted on a body by gravity. Matter exists in three states, solid, liquid, and gas. The first state of matter is solid. The properties of solid include, it has a definite shape, size, volume, texture, taste, smell. This envelope is rectangular in shape, and if you will use a ruler, you will definitely know its size. Its texture is smooth, like this one. The texture of this ointment is smooth, while at the bottom part, the label is rough. Same with the top part. What your mom cooks in the kitchen smells great and tastes good also. Leftover food smells unpleasant and it also has bad taste. This is a glass of water. The water inside the glass is in its liquid state. Liquid is the second state of matter. The properties of liquid include the following. It has no definite shape, size, but it has a definite volume. I am going to get another container. So this is a taller version of glass. I will transfer the water into this taller glass. So, liquid has a definite volume because the same amount of water from the first container is transferred into the second container and vice versa. Say for example, you also have a 330 ml mineral bottled water. You will transfer it into a taller glass. The same amount of water will be transferred into the taller glass because liquid has a definite volume. The third state of matter is gas. It has no definite shape, size, and volume. It takes the shape of the container. A gas flows. It also expands. Alright, take a deep breath. Then breathe out. Now, use your palm in determining if there is a matter coming from your mouth towards your palm. Did you feel something? Yes, it is air. We breathe in and out air. Therefore, air is matter. We can also see air inside the balloon like this the air inside the balloon is called helium 
Therefore, it is in its gaseous state. Same with the LPG that we use at home. Insecticides, pesticides, and more. Now, I will show you a clearer illustration with regards to the particles of the three states of matter for you to easily recognize the difference among the three. Particles in the solid state of matter are compressed. They are tightly packed. However, in the liquid state of matter, you will notice that even though the particles are close with one another, they are loosely packed. And in the gaseous state of matter, you will notice that the particles are spread apart. They are far away from one another. They expand and fill the shape of the container. Alright folks, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have learned something from this video. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and tap the bell button. Thank you and God bless you all.